So, okay, how is this one different? This is one of the ones we're stuck on, some of us. There's no exponent on this side, so it's in some ways it's like this first one here. Exponent only on one side. Uh, the, the, this is the difference, right? Is that number in front? If you're solving equations, you have to, I mean, think back to first principles or just to basics that you know. There's no, I mean, you're, you're applying solving equation skills here. If you're solving this equation when you're in grade 8 or 9, you're isolating the x. It's no different here, other than at some point you're going to try and write the two sides with the same base. To do this, you, uh, you first deal with the 2, and then you deal with the, th with the 3, right? So it's no different here. You work backwards to try and isolate the x. If you were, if you had that just as an expression, first you'd do this, then you'd deal with the exponent, and then you'd deal with the multiplying by 3. So the first thing you need to do is divide by 3, right? I couldn't, the only other option would be to write it as 15 to the x minus 2, but what's the problem with that? Like what, what does this apply to here? It doesn't apply to the whole thing, right? The 3 times 5. If if it was going to be this, wouldn't it need to be written like that? It's not, right? So you, you can't do that. But I can divide both sides by 3. What do you get when you divide this side by 3? And then you just have 5 to the x minus 2. Now I realize that you're probably not, especially first thing after the summer, uh, real quick on the powers of various numbers. Um, I would hope you can do most of these without a calculator. Maybe you don't recognize 625 as a power of 5, but given that it's in this section, it better be a power of 5, otherwise we can't do it with this, this concept here. 625 is, is 5 to the 4, so we got 5 to the x minus 2 is 5 to the 4, which means x minus 2 has to be 4 which means x has to be 6. You could check it, just like any other equation, you can check it by doing what? Yeah, just put it in, substitute it for x. So you could go back and, and check if you wanted to, right? Which is not a bad idea. Not that you need to write it down, but you could do 3 times 5, 6 minus 2, 3 times 5 to the 4, 3 times 6, 25, 1875. So it, it works, right? You need to see that both sides are the same. This is very similar to one of the ones we did up above. You need to think about what power they are both powers of. 3 and 27 are both powers of 3. So that means you don't need to change this side, but you do need to change the other side. This you can leave as 3 to the 4x minus 1, but this side, 27 is like 3 to the so you're just replacing a power with a number with a power that it's equal to so that it has the same base as the other side. That I think you can probably continue on from there. This is going to be 3 to the 6x, right? Because you multiply the two powers. And I'll let you continue on there. Did we come did anybody come up with an answer here that we can share with everybody? What's the final answer end up being here? Negative one, over two. negative 1 over 2. Anybody agree with that? Okay. We'll, uh, we'll go with that. The one, on the, the, the one on this side, I'm thinking that possibly part of the issue is dealing with this. It looks more difficult because there's a fraction in it, right? So that's why this little thought bubble is over here. Remember how fractions are related to exponents or how uh, you know reciprocals. If you know what 16 is as a power of a certain number, the other difficulty, I guess, is maybe recognizing what power you need to work with here. You need to look at the two bases involved, 1 16th and 8. So just think, instead of 1 16th, just think 16 and 8 is 1 a power of the other one? Is 16 a power of 8? Can you go 8 to the power of something equals 16? 
Well, not a whole number, certainly. Are they both powers of a certain number? Yeah, they're both powers of what? Two, right? You can write them both as powers of two. 16 is like 2 to the 4th. 8 is like 2 to the 3rd. The problem is we need 1 16th. If 16 is 2 to the 4th, 1 16th is 2 to the what power? Negative 4, right? Reciprocals are negative exponents. That's one of the most difficult things, and I think you you learn it too early in your... Uh, your brain's development. You learn in grade nine, it's it's such an abstract concept that it's hard to get, but reciprocals are ne negative exponents. So if you know once you're okay with that, then it's then it's the same thing, right? Take one side here, one sixteenth, we're gonna change that to two to the negative four. And then keep the rest of it the same. And then the other side here, 8, we're going to change to, what are we going to change it to? 2 to the 3. 2 to the 3. And I'm going to put brackets here to the 5 minus x, just so we see where it came from. Then you got to simplify the exponents, right? 2 to the a to the b is 2 to the ab, right? you got to multiply the exponents. So 2 to the negative 4 to the power of x is 2 to the negative 4x. And I'm, I'm thinking you can finish that one. What did we come up with for an answer? Did anybody get an answer for this one? Negative 15. Anybody agree with that? Yeah? Again, you can always check, right? Put it in. You can. I, I don't mind when you're doing this if you check it on a calculator. Put it in and just make sure both sides are the same as long as you're entering it properly. Uh, at the end, kind of the summary, I want you to write out in your own words. There's no right or wrong here. This is just for you to think and discuss. You can discuss it with the person you're working with and, and uh, come up with something there. This is a pretty short tutorial. We do have, we do have a bit of time. I, the, the next one's longer. You could, uh, if you have your calculator here, um, you could certainly start this one. The first thing is just starting with an investigation. It wouldn't be a bad idea if we got at least that done. Not the whole tutorial, but looking at just playing around with the, the logarithm button on your calculator to start thinking about what that is. Okay, can I leave you with that? Finishing 2-1. There are, you know, you could, the practice book that I gave you has more questions like this, and it does have the answers for you to check. Because you want to get to the point where you can do these just doing the ones we did together, like if we just did this one together, I don't know if you have, you won't have given yourself enough confidence if you didn't do it on your own. You you could probably go to the practice booklet and do a couple of questions, check the answers, and tell you, you don't have to do it all, just do do some of each type and uh, until you get to the point where you're confident with it, and then move on to 2-2, two, two, okay?